Hello everyone, we are going see, a complete walkthrough or, an intro of Element 3D. Before that, if you are visiting our channel for the first time, please watch our recent tutorials on After Effects, Illustrator and more. And don't forget to check our, recent motion graphic videos on random topics section. Weekly we are uploading a new video, so please do check and, if you like it, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, so that you won't miss our videos, thanks. Ok, let's jump into the video. We are going to see the intro and basics in this first part. This video is going to be 2 or 3 part videos. Today we will explore each and every options in Element 3D. Help you guys are interested. So, what is Element 3D? Is Element 3D is a software or plugin? You are right. Element 3D is a plugin from Video Copilot for After Effects. You can create an awesome effects with this plugin. It's like small cinema 4D into the After Effects. So to access the element 3D, create a solid layer. Type a text title. See I am not going to show how we are going to create a title in this part. This will give a basic understanding on element 3D plugin. Apply element 3D on this solid layer. Now I am doing this adjustments because plugin should know, what I am going to trace or convert into 3D. Don't get confused. Just forget this for now. I will explain in some time. Ok, now click this scene setup. This is element 3D window. Now we'll see, what this option can do for us. File. These are the options we have. In this import, we have this 3D sequence option. If you want to know more about this, let me know in the comment box. We'll do a separate video for that. Anyway I will give a small intro on this. With this you can import animation sequence from 3D software as Wobj sequence. Next, window. You can change the layout of this window. This is help. Now we'll see this section, import, to import objects, please note, you can't import animations sequence from this. Next, undo and redo, this is environment, which you may know as image based lighting, we will see more deeper once, we start creating the final 3D intro. This is the option, which we are going trace or convert our text layer. Just click this, this text came here, because we have already assigned. This is the toolbar, which you are going to use as a transformation tool for the elements, and the camera of the scene. Please note this controls. This is for position. This is for rotate. This is for scale. This is to unlock the pivot point. Pivot point means anchor point of the object. This is to change the lighting of the preview scene.
you can adjust the intensity of the light. This option is to enable visibility of the environment. This will be useful, when you are doing lighting for your scene. This is to change the color of the preview background. This icon will help you to see the selected element in center. These are some options for preview, as you can see the actions of the each options. This is not an complete scene, so some options will not give any difference. This is the option for texture. Now in our model texture is not there. That's why no difference. This is to view in full screen. This is to change the camera perspective. Example, top, side, front. This is to change the shades of the element. Example, wireframe, wireframe with texture. Now scene section, this will act same as layer in After Effects timeline. These are some option. This is our 3D element. We'll create more elements, so, we can easily understand the interface. Go to create and create as you wish. So this is the structure. You can select from this layer panel also. This is to enable and disable the visibility of the element. This is to delete the element. This option will discuss more, when we are into the final intro. Like this you can separate the scene. We'll see this option soon. Now we'll see about preset section. Here you can see textures or materials. It's so simple to apply the material, just drag and drop into the element. So you can see the materials in scene section also. Now we can see the, the use of this option. If you change material view to path view, you can separate each element and change the placement of the element. You can download and install more material presets from internet. Now we are going to change the environment. These are the default environment presets. I have just enabled the visibility of the environment to see the difference. To change just click on the HDR, see the difference. Some HDR images are not showing I am not sure, maybe software glitch or some error. I am just going to enable the owl to get contact shadow between the elements. One more thing is, bevel. This is the preset for your text design. Check this, how this is reacting, when you apply into the text, see it will change material automatically.
and you can change the individual elements texture also. In scene material, you can see the used and unused materials. If you want to remove unwanted materials, right click on the blank space and then select remove unwanted materials. Next edit section, it's basically a properties tab, or a effect control panel. For individual properties, select the element, so you can get the properties of the selected element. In this some options will be advance. So now we are not going to use it. Just for you, I am just showing what each option will do, let's explore. This is model browser, if you installed any model pack then you can find the models in this section. You are just seeing the default elements. I am just going to use this things and create a scene, no need to follow, just showing what you can achieve with this default elements. So now we are going to apply this in After Effects workspace. If you have any issues you can get help from Help Center. And you can download more 3D elements from this 3D store. Once you finalize, click OK. Now add a camera to see the full element. So that's it for now, we are going to see, how to animate to element and camera with special techniques, in our next part, so don't miss our next upload. If you think, this helps you, please consider to subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications, and don't forget to press the like button, and please check our Instagram page also, there we are uploading some awesome contents sure you guys will enjoy it, thank you so much for your love and support, stay safe, with lots of love, AB Animation Studios.